Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to share with you guys my experience of 24 hours using the iPhone 6s Plus running iOS 13. Now a little over three days ago I posted an image on Twitter where I was challenging myself to use the iPhone 6s Plus running iOS 13 for an entire 24 hours to get a real true feel of the OS and experience of iOS 13 running on this device. Now keep in mind this is not a final review. iOS 13 is currently sitting in beta 2. There's a lot of improvements to come. But there's something that I truly learned from really using this device as my primary for 24 hours. And that's what I want to share with you guys today. Let's begin. Now there's many reasons why I wanted to use the iPhone 6s Plus as my daily driver. Of course, performance, test the battery, test the actual features, and get a real feel of iOS 13 on the iPhone 6s Plus. And I have to say, in regards to performance, everything is running pretty much a par with the brand new devices like the iPhone XS and XS Max. But in regards to going through the software, boy, that's where the problem started for me in particular because keep in mind, I've been using the iPhone X, the XS, the XR, the XS Max, and these devices are Face ID devices. Going back to a Touch ID device is definitely a relearning curve, believe it or not. Once you get used to the swiping gestures of new devices, it's hard to go back. And once you guys upgrade to a Face ID device, if you haven't already, you'll realize how much of a different experience it is using iOS on a Touch ID device than it is on a Face ID device. For example, Control Center is on the top right on my iPhone XR. On the iPhone 6S Plus, is on the bottom. So that would always get me. Every time I would launch an application, I would swipe from the bottom to dismiss it, but no, I have Touch ID, so I have to press on the home button. To go to the app switcher, I have to double press on the home button, but on the iPhone XR, of course, we know that we have to swipe from the bottom to do this. Now, I'm not complaining about the user experience on the iPhone 6S Plus running iOS 13, but there's definitely a relearning curve when you come back from a Face ID device to a Touch ID device. But the great thing here is all the features are here. Apple did not hold back in regards to performance, battery, everything is pretty much a par, as I mentioned, with newer devices. Now, one thing I found rather interesting is that I prefer definitely a 3D touch display device like the iPhone 6S Plus over an iPhone XR when it comes to this particular feature. Now, I really do prefer 3D touch over hectic touch any day. If you have a 3D touch device, you know that when you press and 3D touch on an item, it just feels natural. The feedback that you get from the device feels right. Everything flows quickly. There's really no second thought from the software to the feedback that you get when you're invoking 3D Touch. On a haptic touch device, however, like the iPhone XR, there's a second thought almost about the software, trying to understand exactly what it is that you mean. On a 3D Touch display, it's just so snappy, so fast, and believe it or not, I use 3D Touch a lot in Control Center, peeking and popping into notifications all over the place. I really do use it, and I really do prefer it over Haptic touch, a million to one, is just a lot more responsive. And as I said, it doesn't feel like a second thought for the software. It just goes with it. Sometimes when I go to 3D touch on something, particularly the control center toggles here and also the control center platters on an iPhone XR with haptic touch, just feels like a second thought for the software. And I really just don't like that lag. I really like the feedback that you get from the device when you're using a 3D touch display. Now, in regards to phone calls, clarity, everything was good. The battery, as I mentioned, was ah, okay, right? It is beta 2, so we can't really expect too much, but we did get anywhere from 7 to 7 and a half hours of battery life on this big device which is pretty good uh, on iOS 13 beta 2 and this will only improve so my experience with the iPhone 6s plus running iOS 13 was very very satisfying the features just feel right everything is here it doesn't feel like a half software right it doesn't feel like features got cut off everything is here and it is a really truly good experience and this is a device that I could truly use on iOS 13 if I didn't really have a Face ID device to use, right? Because I do still prefer Face ID with all the Face ID features and the swiping gestures throughout the OS. But boy, the iPhone 6S Plus, those of you who own this device will be very, very happy, I believe, when you get your hands on iOS 13. And that is my 24 hours experience with the iPhone 6S Plus on iOS 13. The experience is good. The software feels great. 3D Touch is a lot better than Haptic Touch. And it is fully packed with features. Nothing was held back from Apple. So good so far on this device. Let me know if you want me to do another 24 hour with a different device, maybe the iPhone 7. Who knows? Let me know in those comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on iOS 13 if you're running this on your primary iPhone 6S Plus. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.